Hey, greetings everyone, it is GleeCon, and I'm back! Wow, wow! Here to bring you another episode of Lore of Warcraft, and I am pumped. On our last one, we continue to read through the official World of Warcraft strategy guide, taking you back almost 20 years to when people actually had paper strategy guides. I was one of the biggest um, devotees of paper strategy guides, and uh, even I, I can't remember, it's been a while, it's been a few years at least since the last time I bought one. Um, but we just kind of looked through the classes and some flavor text for them. A little bit of a deep, deeper dive into some of the game fundamentals. Um, it's cool. We're not reading it verbatim. It's a very big book, but uh, it's just an interesting little exploration. We've also been playing through World of Warcraft Classic, so stay a while and listen as we jump back in. With This time we're going to go Cali. We're in the middle of a five-part series, which is kind of silly, um, on the stockades. So... Callie is over here in Ironforge because the next part of her journey would technically be, be to go to Duskwood. Which that's all cool and everything. Um, I'm ac it's actually been so long since I played the other half because she's splitting her Duskwood level with our Paladin. Um, it's been so it's been such a long time. Now she could go over here and do the Dark Iron War. I'm not even gonna. It's so it's it's so much work to go there. What level is she? She's 25. Um, she could go pick it up, but um, we did that on our last episode, so I'm not going to belabor that point. It is cool. I don't, I don't not recommend it. I just, we're going to try to stay a little bit more focused. So, what we didn't have time for last time, well, the episode ran long enough, but one of the things that we missed, whoops, I need to take the tram, is I neglected to uh, remember that we had a quest for now there's a Red Ridge Mountains quest here we gotta look up, look this up oh she never officially did it so actually this is good we will get all of these quests there's a quest called what comes around so we are gonna go ahead and pick up all the quests that we haven't picked up so far on the first episode all we did was take our um, our our night elf and just travel her over and <clears throat> to to Stormwind because she hadn't been there. So in a way, it was her. We set up, we talked about what we were going to do, we broke it down. But then we also really took a peek at what it would take to get to the stockades if you were a night elf and you had never been to Kalimdor at all. So that's really what the level became. Off camera, she did a little bit, but really she only had the quests that people shared with her I didn't pick and the, and the ones that were available in Stormwind the next thing is I, I did is I took Maleficent who had beaten the uh, Red Ridge Mountains she had beaten all of the, the quests in Westfall um, so what happens in in that is uh, you start the Defia Stormline or, or uh, quest line really you go deep into it when you kill Van Cleef who is the leader of the Defias and we're really getting to the end of it now with the Stockades dungeon, although it does kind of segue into a greater overall conspiracy, and it, it kind of shows that the Defius are tools. They're just part of an even bigger uh, conspiracy that we start to kind of hint at. Now, those of us in the know know that it has something to do with uh, Lady Katrina Prester, and uh, it's not a coincidence that she's the one that gives you your quest reward if you do complete the long storyline something we will be doing off, uh, on, on camera on another episode. So what Maleficent did was she took that quest I just showed before. She was up there in the wetlands. There's a couple elite quests you can do. They are level 30 elite quests. They are not messing around. So um, we're not going to pick that up with Callie. And really, I'm not picking it up with anybody else just because it's kind of out of the way. The other two are very easy. There are two that we're going to pick up right now in Red Ridge and in Duskwood. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to fly over to those areas. We're also going to end up picking up any quests that are in this area, but we'll maybe do that second. So first, while we still have some things to talk about and catch up on, maybe we will take the quests over. She has an okay amount of gold, not a ton. Um, she is a disenchanter, so... Let's take a peek at 
Let's see, she has a 20 with a 5-2, so this... She could totally disenchant that. She has this two-handed mace. She doesn't need that. I don't even remember where I got all this stuff from. She has a male... I don't know what this girl's been doing. Uh, but yeah, why not? Just She obviously is a tailor, but I think part of her problem is... That she, yeah, she doesn't even know how to make bolts of, yikes, bo bolts of woolen cloth yet, so she's in a little bit of a bind. I, I, she might have to, hopefully we can find some linen in some, when we're in Duskwood or something, but she's, she might have to end up buying some linen. Alright, so, we actually, since it's going to be on the way to the flight path, we'll go ahead and pick up this Color of Blood quest, because we didn't pick that up last time. So there are, I think, I want to say about six or so quests that you can get. The one that she has is Basil Thread. So uh, we did one off camera, which is if you defeat those dwarves, the Dark Iron Dwarves, they essentially say, hey, um, there is a person that's behind these Dark Iron Dwarves. The Alliance has already captured him, but for whatever reason, rather than executing him, oh wait, no, no, that's what that's what the Dark Shore says. Uh, but they basically just say the Alliance is keeping this Dark Iron guy imprisoned, and that's not what we want. We want this dude's head. So you agree to go kill him, and when we do the the actual dungeon on the next episode, we'll show doing exactly that. Killing this person pats around, so we gotta kinda of find where she is. Um so the Dark Iron Prisoner quest is what we picked up. Now there's also a there are a few others now when you fight van cleef i don't know where they're at nicola nicola says that she's um this is the first time i've ever like have her be mia like this okay it does look like she can kind of tuck into some of these little creases down at the bottom but anyhow, um, that's one of them. The second main one that we are not picking up is the one we've already picked up, and, and there she is, covered a lot, which is this, the one that leads to Basil Thread. Basil Thread is not actually the one that you pick up, but let's let's get Nikola, Nik, Nikolas. Well Bitterness flows through my veins like a cold river. My grandson, Mac, was such a good boy, a mere 14 years old. When the army was sent off to the front, Mac took up arms to defend the city. He was a guard in the stockade where the Defias gang is locked up. Mac reprimanded some of the prisoners for tearing their wool blankets to make scarves, a symbol of their gang, for that Mac was stabbed in the back. I want revenge. Bring me ten of their precious wool bandanas. They are the color of blood. Okay, so this um, continues the theme, and it's sort of like the finale of this theme. The Defias like to wear red bandanas. We've gotten kind of burlap ones from them. We have gotten silk bandanas in the dead mines. And now, for whatever reason, the wool bandanas are the ones that the prisoners wear. And they are the ones that um, this girl wants. Her son, her, apparently her 14-year-old son, um, grandson rather, went to the army and... Or no, stayed to defend the city at 14 and decided it would be a good idea to scold the prisoners for making some bandanas and then the prisoners killed him. So the boy, I guess, can't learn a lesson. He was killed. But um, the girl's like, yeah, we need to murder them, essentially. We need to take 10 of their masks, but that, that means murder These them. Great beast, no paths that you can't find oh, I foot. I They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. I don't time. need to hear his gossip. All right, so um, we have two things to get here. Uh, furthermore, so we've got that one. Uh, the while we're flying, let's look at the this basil thread. So what happens here in basil thread is basically when you beat the dead mines, you kill Van Cleef, and he drops a letter, this unsent letter. The letter has some in information basically tying him to the Stonemasons Guild, and this is where the conspiracy or whatever, the, the tie, it's not really a conspiracy, but where the deeper ties and connections, um, the aha moments of the quest start to un 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 reveal themselves. 
So you you take that letter back to this guy in like the city hall kind of area, or I don't remember exactly the information center. It's it's kind of like um, somewhere around here, visitor center or something like that. And um, he says Van Cleef, yeah, him and Van Cleef are boys, and he recommends uh, that you talk to the guards because the person that was a, a, another member of the so-called gang or whatever of the former kind of group of, of artisans in the city that were disgruntled is being held in prison. So one was Van Cleef, he let off. Some of them kind of defected from the anger. Like they decided, basically some of them became scabs. They decided to... Uh, just compromise their the greater good the the recompense that was due to all of the artisans and just take something for themselves so the alliance did do good by a few and separated kind of out uh separated them it created it weakened it was actually a smart move in a way but it also in a way exacerbated the drama and that's probably what the people pulling the strings actually want as we come to learn but he says uh here take go talk to the leader about basil thread who's in the jail and when you do that he's going to have you want to kill basil thread because the stockades is all about well there's so many bad guys that have been intentionally put there and not killed and just expected to like be contained that now they've taken over the jail, and this jail is um, is in full rebellion, and, and it's your job to come there and kind of settle Argor it down. the Dread served under Gath Ilzog as supreme executioner. His methods were ruthless, even by filthy orc standards. Men who fought bravely to defend the kingdom were tortured on his whim. Now, he is being held in the Stormwind Stockade, sentenced to die. Yet something is amiss. One of the bureaucratic nobles put a hold on his execution. I am sure foul play is in the works. Put an end to Targor the Dread, adventurer. Travel to the stockade and behead him before trickery is upon us. Okay, so so we're starting to see a theme now. So out in Red Ridge, there's been an orc infestation because we're up near the Black Rock Mountains. And so there's an orc problem. And one of these orcs, some of the orcs have led this small keep out here. Well, the lead executioner has been kidnapped, but rather than brought out and and killed, they decided let's just hold him indefinitely in this prison. Let's do a stay of execution, which is shady. So says the, the guy, and he's like, well, why don't you go in and kill him? Which sets up a theme, the Basil Thread theme. Go kill him. The lady with the bandanas, she wants you to uh, get the bandanas. By killing the regular inmates. The Dark Iron Dwarf says, we don't want this guy in prison. We want him dead. And then we have one final place to go to, which we have to walk to in Duskwood. Apparently, we haven't been there yet with this character. Um, I have to look up and find out exactly which quests, because she's splitting this. So... I kind of think he did like eight legged menaces, maybe the wolves that are healed, and then there's this jitterous growling gut. He's done some. I'm gonna. It's literally been so long because we did all of uh, we did all of the rest of Stone Talon with her. We did it with him. We did a, the barons. And now we've been doing the stockades. We've done a few episodes of Ashenvale. So it's probably been a few weeks. Maybe close to a month since we actually uh, did the first half that she's supposed to be splitting. It's actually a terrible idea um, that she's that he, Erator and her are splitting the quests because, um, as I'm seeing now, we are oftentimes like two weeks apart because they're eight characters apart, and I do an episode a day about, and then I have an, uh, um, a reading in between, so it's often, it will be 16 days, so usually two and a half weeks in between him doing her session and and, and him doing his. Oops, I went too freaking far, I diagnosed it. Getting, talking too much. Um, so... 
next time I do it, I will have to actually literally jot down because in the meantime, I'm going to have to off camera go in there and find out on the video what did I do and then what did I do off camera because when she plays, she's going to do part of that and then she's going to we're going to come do a little bit on camera because she since again, she's splitting it with Erator. Um, but that's that's still actually a little ways away because we are finishing all of Ashenvale, which is going to require a Black Fathom Deeps episode, but I'm only going to do one character doing that. And then her running through the rest of Ashenvale, and then that will allow her to finally catch up Nessingwary to do start whatever it was that he was going to do, because I think that's what's holding us back. Um... Nessingwary is starting Hillsbred and Shalaseer, for whatever reason, I'm having her go do Hillsbred also. So, those two will be splitting that, and that's all gonna happen, along with Farinel doing some more Hillsbred. Like, all of this is gonna happen before we get back to Shalaseer. I mean, to, to Callie. Um. So. We're running off to get the final quest now, and this is actually, after we do this, we're gonna go into the stockades entrance, pick that quest up, and then that's gonna actually be it for this episode on camera. She'll run it off camera, and then there's some things to do after. The next episode that we do will be um, with our hunter, and he is actually gonna run the dungeon. Holy cow, you'll actually see. Stockades is a, is a short dungeon too. It will take at most like 30 minutes. And then we will wrap it up with Erator doing the quest turn-ins. So the quest turn-ins aren't too terribly long other than the fact that he will have to run here and there. Uh, Redridge and Duskwood, he does have a flight path to them already. But there's a, a sort of an in-town running around that you have to do that ends up with a, uh, a quest to a, a kind of involved quest, and you end up getting a blue ring. I didn't, I didn't realize she already had a blue ring. So you get a second blue... She would get a second blue ring today. That's that's good. She could use it. Um, yeah. Oh, she's still wearing gray janky bracers. Yikes. Again. I'm kind of also side-watching the fantasy scores. There are three minutes to go, four minutes to go in this game. I am down in fantasy by about four points. I have a wide receiver in, so we will see. I'm, it's not looking good, unfortunately for me. I mean, you never know. Four points, you can get one good catch in. I didn't really look at the scores, so, like, of the game that's happening. Alright, so this is the final quest, and then we're going to Hearthstone back to uh, Stormwind and go talk to the actual people in Stockade, so you can see where that's at. I need to pick up this flight path, because she hasn't been here. And then, yeah, she'll run that dungeon. Um, she could do whatever. Alright, thank goodness we got that flight path. We got one more area um, kind of mapped out. And let's go pick this quest up. It's in here. It's called Crime and Punishment. I actually didn't realize this one existed. I talked about this last time. Uh, I, so I didn't do it with Shalaseer, but I don't really care because I skipped a lot of the quests with Shalaseer. She only did about half of them. Like, she couldn't get the blue ring because I never did Deadmines with her. Um, but it was shared, luckily, with Millie. As if the neglect for the residents of Duskwood was not bad enough now, the House of Nobles spits in the eye of the Darkshire Council with their decision to imprison Dextran Ward in Stormwind, rather than behead the villain as per Lord Ebonlock's sentence. Ward was caught selling bodies from the cemetery to Morbent Fell, a crime punishable by death. Yet Stormwind claims Ward as their prisoner. Assassinate Ward in the Stormwind stockade. Bring me his hand and I shall reward you. Okay, so unlike all the others, they want a hand instead of a head. Maybe they thought it would be too morbid to just have all these heads. Um, but yeah, he's basically saying, yet again, this is the theme. We have a person who's sentenced to death 
The jail has decided to not execute him. We want you to go in and execute him. So, I think if it wasn't for the fact that it was under full-on revolt, this would actually be pretty messed up, because why would the, you be allowed to break in? But the fact that it is under a full revolt has actually allowed the... Um, people of the dungeon, or whatever, the people... It's, it's allowing us to get about and do our city, so... Um, Alright, so this is the actual Stockade's dungeon, very convenient, right here in the city, kind of like Ragefire Chasm. Need help. Alright, so we have to turn in this basil thread. Over here, you worth it. If you want to do something useful, listen quick. What in the light do you want? Can't you see we have a crisis here? Basil thread? Why would you want to speak with that bastard? How am I supposed to know you're not one of his cronies? Come down to help with his bloody riot. If all the blasted cells weren't open, I might throw you in one for a while. Okay. Uh, let's get so, things straight. Two quests. Sure. I don't trust you, but with the situation as it is, you probably won't make a difference. So here's how it's going to be. Go down there and have your talk with Thread. If you're really on our side, then kill him and bring me his head when the job's done. And if it turns out you're on his side and don't come out, when we find you, you'll die along with the rest of the maggots. Okay. So even the warden is like, go in there and just kill the dude. And then there's Quell the Uprising. The uprising must be quelled. Obligatory I kill quest. Assistance. If word gets out that the prison is overrun, I will lose my job. This is a case of foul play if I've ever seen one. But what's important now is forcing these prisoners into submission for the safety of Stormwind. The punishment for insurgency is death. Kill some of these deviants. That ought to get things under control. As you saw, there was a horde trying to get out of there. Alright, so we have all of the quests minus the... So there's a total of six, actually. Um, we have all of them except for... Oh, look, there's a portal to Darnassus. She doesn't need that. Alright, so that's it for this episode. Off camera, I'm going to do the dungeon. Turn in all of those things with her. And, but next time, we, only have, we will have only two parts left. For now, thank you, everybody, so much for watching this episode. We have another... One in the pipe, five by five. Thank you, and I will see you next time on Lore of Warcraft.